Isaac Newton, the 25th of December 1642 to 20 March 1726 27. English mathematician, physicist, astronomer, alchemist, theologian. Isaac Newton quotes, If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. To explain all nature is too difficult. A task for any one man or even for any one age. Tis much better to do a little with certainty and leave the rest for others that come after then to explain all things by conjecture without making sure of anything. God without dominion, providence, and final causes is nothing else but fate and nature, blind metaphysical necessity, which is certainly the same always and everywhere, could produce no variety of things, all that diversity of natural things, which we find suited to different times and places, could arise from nothing but the ideas and will of a being, necessarily existing, whence arises all that order and beauty we see in the world. To explain all nature is too difficult, a task for any one man or even for any one age. About the times of the end, a body of men will be raised up, who will turn their attention to the prophecies and insist upon their literal interpretation. In the midst of much clamor and opposition, Plato is my friend. Aristotle is my friend. That my greatest friend is truth. I have studied these things. You have not. Yet one thing secures us whatever betide. The scriptures assures us that the Lord will provide. What Descartes did was a good step. You have added much several ways, and especially in taking the colors of thin plates into philosophical consideration. Truth is the offspring of silence and meditation. I keep the subject constantly before me and wait till the first dawnings open slowly by little and little into a full and clear light. In the absence of any other proof, the thumb alone would convince me of God's existence. God who gave animals self-motion beyond our understanding is without doubt able to implant other principles of motion in bodies which we may understand as little. Some would readily grant this. Maybe a spiritual one, yet a mechanical one might be shown. Did not I think it better to pass it by? This principle of nature being very remote from the conceptions of philosophers I forbore to describe it in that book, lest I should be accounted an extravagant freakant, so prejudice my readers against all those things which were the main design of the book. A vulgar mechanic can practice what he has been taught or seen done, but if he is in an error he knows not how to find it out and correct it, and if you put him out of his wrote he is at a stand, whereas he that is able to reason nimbly and judiciously about figure, force, and motion, is never at rest till he gets over every rub. There are more sure marks of authenticity in the Bible that, in any profane history, if others would think as hard as I did, then they would get similar results. Gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who set the planets in motion, as a blind man has no idea of colors. So have we no idea of the manner by which the all-wise God perceives and understands all things. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people.